When we refer to orientation, we often think of portrait, landscape, or perhaps square. Each have their origins in traditional painting, sculpture, and photography. Describing the dimensions of artwork that features a person's face, upper or full body as portrait. Landscape orientation historically captures images of horizons and scenery. As such, the dimensions required the width to be greater than its height. While square images became popular with users of the twin reflex camera in the 1870s and the Polaroid instant cameras of the 1970s and 80s that developed photos at 6 by 6 centimetres. These days we consume imagery on a multitude of devices. By rotating the screen 90 degrees you can change the orientation from portrait to landscape to increase the scale of a video or responsive web page. But describing visual media as being either tall or wide is sometimes inadequate and we instead refer to its aspect ratio. Take your classic television programs that were broadcast in 4 by 3 aspect ratio, 4 units wide and 3 units tall. At the time they filled the screen of a standard TV set, but seen on today's panoramic flat screen TVs ranging from 16 by 9 to 21 by 9 in aspect ratio, the result is far from pleasant viewing. They either fit the height of the screen, leaving empty space on the left and right hand side, or fill the screen width, cropping regions from the top and the bottom of the original footage. When it comes to creating digital media, it's always preferable to identify how it will be consumed to provide the best possible viewing experience for the end user. 